Hey, what's you, Steve? Oh, hello. <laughs> Once again, guess where we are? Yeah, Bista Heritage. Bista Heritage, <laughs> yeah. here we are. Um, as, as usual, our, our little place in the yeah. sun. But isn't a she a beauty? Do you know what it is? <laughs> I certainly do. <laughs> it's a Pulse 356C. The last of the uh, 356s made, which is a precursor to the 911. Yeah. So after this, it became the 911. Um, originally, we'd had a, a, a quad cam Carrera engine in there, but now it's... Um, all electric. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's all electric, and uh, we're going to sort of tell everybody what we've done, I guess. Yeah, should we, should we go straight to the business end? Why don't we do that? So well, I'll, I'll wait, pop, wait, where's the business end? The business end is this end. We did this for the show, and the customer liked the transparent boot floor so much that uh, so you kept it. So um, you can see everything that's going on in there. Once again, is uh, a Hyper 9 driving a gearbox because it's so much more fun driving with gears. Um, on the left, there's the high voltage systems, um, all there laid out for you to see. And on the right, it's the 12 volt systems and everything that drives that. Um, beautifully put together. There's batteries underneath the electrical and electronics here. There are batteries on the rear parcel shelf. And there are also batteries under the bonnet, um, which I can show you as well, if you like. Yeah, why not? You've got it that side, I believe. So, under the bonnet, I just get this magical stay that works for the Porsche. Just stays yeah. up on its own. I really like that. Nice yeah, it's really it. nice, yeah. yeah. So, um, it's just, a, it's a box, it's got some batteries in, but mostly it has the charging system. Uh, charge system will recharge this car in about three hours. Um, as you know, we have this sort of incremental tech, so it depends on the, what the customer orders, uh, but we can put more charge capacity, less charge capacity according to what's required. And that's what he wanted. Yeah. And that's what he got. Indeed. <laughs> so yeah, so we've made this box look really, really pretty. We retained the spare wheel in exactly the same place as it would have been originally. And the weight is, it's quite nice. Isn't it? It's really nicely balanced now. Yeah, right about it is. 50-50. Yeah. So if we have a look in here, you see beautifully restored Porsche interior. And it is just lovely. Originally here would have been the heater control. This heater control now is our forward and reverse stick basically so backwards it's in reverse forwards guess where it is it's in forwards and in the middle is neutral so that's exactly how it works nothing else has been touched on it that's the only alteration we've done in the car okay so who's going to drive this one then well i think we had to be me steve i know how to do it okay <laughs> you can drive the other one <laughs> no worries you manage that all right good all right copy ah. you get in there old man <laughs> just checking Right. Just check in. Okay. And away we go. Look at that. So. Yeah, why don't you tell, <laughs> tell, tell me about this beautiful car? Oh, Steve, it's fantastic. Whilst you were busy making yourself a cup of tea, <laughs> I decided to give it a little try out. Yeah. And I can see why it done so well in the early rallies, because it, it handles beautifully. I mean, it's. I think it's got a lot of... The, hell of a turn of speed now yeah. with it with the um, electric motor in it and um, what it was like before well, I did drive it you know when it first came in and it it, it was fine it didn't feel that great at low speed once you got it singing up to sort of three three and a half thousand rpm yeah it was fine um, but being quite honest low, low down in the rev range it wasn't great but this is just great in any Kia you know, in any yeah. rev, rev, rev range we're in so we're going around now in second so if I could just give it a little bit of thing up here, you yeah. feel that immediate acceleration. Yeah, it's, yeah? it's absolutely. And yeah. I'm, you know, barely touched the, the throttle at, at that point. So I take it around here now and whack it. I'll just stick in the third, and you see again. I, w I won't go too fast because we've got this camera on the front. Yeah. But you can feel it right there, kind of straight away. Yeah, you absolutely. Feel it, you know. Yeah, immediately. It was quite something to see because it was clearly quick. And it's this blue mirage across the airfield, <laughs> and you couldn't hear it. I know. Maybe Amazing, a slight it? whine on the close, on the close of course, corner. Of course, yeah. It, it, just brilliant, yeah. Mm. Now, I drove it over here this morning. I loved it. I think it's the best one that we've done in terms of drive drivability. It's, it's always it's the same such way, a though. smooth car. <laughs> it's it's yeah. always the same. They're always the best. Yeah, they are always the best. But this, yeah. this one, I agree, this one really is a good, it's a, not a good car, it's a great car. Yeah. It's all, but there's yeah. something really... Uh, sexy about this it, it might it, be something to do not only with the engineering but 
it's also to do with the fact that, as far as we know, this is the only real Porsche 356 that's ever been converted to electricity. I know. In yeah, the you're world. right. There's, yeah. Been a, there's been a couple of the um, speed, yeah, the, the, the fiberglass body speeds has done. Yeah, that's right. Um, but as an, an original, genuine, matching numbers 356C, certainly, yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty much the only one in the world. Yeah, as far as we know, it is. Um, yeah. And, uh, and I can there see must be something a bit more solid and a bit more German engineering about it. Absolutely, yeah, of course, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, honestly, it's one of the nicest cars I've actually ever driven. Uh, not a good car, it's a great car. Yeah. Book it in, yeah. and we'll, we'll, we'll do your 356 as we're the experts now. I think one thing that does um, separate it, for example, the, from the Beatles and the Karma Gear that we've been driving. Um, different times, uh, it's much quieter. The build it's, quality is yeah, what it is. You, you can really <laughs> tell the Porsche build quality. Yeah. It does make a difference. Yeah. Um, so it, it feels much more luxurious. But it's, it's, it's lovely to drive, it really yeah. is. Uh, and yeah, I'm beginning to sound like a, I'm on repeat, but I can't help I it. I know, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's just another one that we don't want to give back. <laughs> We're not giving it back, are we? <laughs> you never told so. me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I'm, I'm afraid the... There's uh, no way I'm giving this back. I'm keeping it.